QuickSight is a great BI tool that is native to the AWS environment, which fits really well within everything else within the CAP suite of tools and data. It integrates nicely with a lot of that data that is already there, especially like in three buckets. And it does provide the ability for you to bring your own data. So if you're getting flat files emailed from somebody that you need to create a dashboard or visual for, QuickSight provides that ability for you to bring that data as is. What's also nice is that you don't need a user license to either create dashboards or visuals or even share those with your end users. Uh, to get started into QuickSight, go to idm.cms.gov, log in. Anybody with a HARP or EUA ID can get access then to the CCSQ QuickSight application. Uh, once you select that, you'll see QuickSight and your options on the left panel, you're in. You can start visualizing, looking at things, creating visualizations. So let's talk a little bit more about how you navigate within the QuickSight instance and kind of what all the terminology is. The core components around QuickSight are different assets. At the top of the list is your dashboards. This is just a published analysis that's read-only. And this is what you would share with your end users who you want to get your data in front of um, the ability to make data informed decision. This is what you would share with them. As a creator of that dashboard, you would actually create an analysis. This is where it lets you pull in um, different data sets and create the different visualizations you want to. Drill downs, map features, kind of everything that's available within QuickSight. This is where you go to create that. And then data sets, those are your data from your various data sources then you can do some preparation and transformations and simple joins to then use that data in your analysis. And then data sources are what sit outside of QuickSight where your original data comes from, but gets connected into the data set. If you're a QuickSight developer or deployer, you will have the ability to create data sets. When you navigate on the left panel of QuickSight to data sets, this is what you'll be presented with options. So QuickSight has the ability to connect with any of these data sources. And if you happen to be set up in QuickSight where you have access to other existing data sources, at the very bottom is where you will see what your individual account has access to. So when you're ready to start creating analysis, come to your data sets, select which data set you want to start with. And then by selecting that, you'll get to an analysis. This is the standard analysis page in QuickSight. You can select everything from different data sets, uh, fields within each data set, creating different visual types, creating calculated variables, all happen within here. I also have the ability to create different tabs. Every dashboard can have multiple tabs and they can have different data being used within each tab. You can also create overview tab or text box within each tab where you can provide necessary information to your end users. Like here's how I changed that data to like better provide input to your end users about how to read the visualizations or to better understand what data you're presenting to them. Uh, QuickSight also gives you the ability to create hyperlinks. If you want to reference something outside of QuickSight, you can direct them to that via some hyperlinks in the text. When you're ready with your analysis, you can just publish it to a dashboard. This is the read-only version of what you created in an analysis. They can't access the underlying data sets. They can only access the data that you've presented and represented in the visuals themselves. We'll talk about how you can share your dashboard. Uh, whether you're working within a shared folder or not, it will automatically get shared into a shared folder. You can change that shared folder if you want. You can also create your own personal dashboard and you invite an individual within QuickSight to get access to that dashboard. At the bottom, there's enable access for everyone in this account. That's the available option, encouraged, depending upon what data is in your dashboard and who you want to have access to your specific dashboard. And by enabling everyone in this account, that means anybody who has access to the CCSQ QuickSight instance will have access to that dashboard. For anybody who is new to QuickSight, you'll log in and you'll see several populated dashboards already. Those dashboards are available for everybody in this account. 